Hey guys, it's Victoria. So today I want to share with you a project that took place a few weeks back towards the beginning of the year. Um, it's actually a like small DIY renovation of my upstairs guest bathroom. It wasn't the worst bathroom in the world, but definitely not the best either. I mean, I lived with it for over 10 years, um, but I decided it definitely needed a refresh. It was not my style. I don't know who thought those green cabinets were it, because they are not. Basically, I just wanted to update it so that it actually looked like it belonged in my condo. My condo is very black and white. My bathroom did not get the memo, um, so we just needed to, you know, bring it up a notch. So a few years back, I had my master bathroom professionally redone. It cost quite a bit of money. I do not have that this time around, so I needed something low cost. I'm always down for a good DIY. Really, I just wanted to elevate the space and have it match the rest of my home. First things first, ripping out that backsplash. I hate it, I don't know why they do that in bathrooms and kitchens, um, but it had to go. The side pieces were relatively easy to do. I just needed to use a pocket knife to kind of score around the edges to loosen it up, and then using a hammer and what little strength I had, I just, you know, I ripped it off. The back piece is actually what gave me the biggest struggle. Um, there was no way for me to kind of wedge my hammer in there the way I had to do with the side pieces. So I, I it was just, I, I was fighting with it for, I don't know, a good hour. I even had to change out of my sweatshirt because I was sweating so much, um, but we, 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 we got it done. Then went around and removed all of the like adhesive from the wall and the countertops so that I could prep for spackling later. Um, I struggled with that for a little bit until I realized that I could use a, um, a Cricut spatula. So it's a little spatula that goes with my my Cricut machine, but it got it was able to get like really precisely underneath the sealant and um, scrape it off there real good. Then I went around and spackled all the holes in the walls, um, the damage from removing the baseboard to prepare for painting later. Oh, and I also took down the old shower curtain rod um, and shower curtain. So before painting the walls, I wanted to paint the cabinets. Um, I chose to paint it a black color. I thought that would look really good in here. I would have preferred to have sprayed, like used a paint sprayer to spray the cabinets. I did that with my kitchen cabinets a few years back and they looked great. This time around, I used a sponge roller. Um, I mean, it looks decent. It's not the best job in the world, but it's, you know, it's, it's a good temporary fix.
last coat. Hopefully. Morning, it is day two. Yesterday we ended with painting the cabinets. I painted uh, four coats of the black paint. I do want to seal it with something, um, just because I don't want it to, to chip or whatever. Um, I was gonna go, so last night I tried to spray it with this, um, what do you call this? Crystal clear enamel spray. Um, but this can is like 10 years old. It feels completely full, but nothing but air was coming out of it. So I think it might be dead. Um, so we're gonna save that for another day. Um, you also remember I tore down the backsplash, if we can, if that's what it's called. I don't know if that's what it's called. And I started spackling. So I need to sand that, paint, and hopefully I can get the bulk of most of the stuff done today. I want to replace the faucet, replace the light fixture, we're going to replace the shower curtain, hang up some like towel racks, toilet paper holder, things like that. Um, so that's the plan for today. After the cabinets had dried, I went ahead and installed the cabinet pools. I went with a black on black, so they're pretty inexpensive pools that I found on Amazon, but I think they look really good with the black cabinets. They don't show up as well on camera, but in person, they look very sleek. <laughs> Then went back to finish up with the spackling and sanding. Um, all the spackle from the day before had dried, so I went through, sanded it, you know, felt around to see if there were any like little divots or, or rough spots that I could um, hit with some spackle again before doing a final sanding. Then I went ahead and taped off um, around the ceiling and by the cabinet so that I wouldn't get any paint anywhere. So 
before painting, I had to go ahead and remove the light fixture. If I was going to keep that light fixture, I probably would have just taped around it. But since I was going to replace it anyways, I decided to pull it down, paint, and then install the new light. waiting on the paint to dry I was painting this wall first because I really want to get that light um, back installed because that's the only light I have in here so I took down the old bracket whatever it's called and I put the new one up for the new light um, I'm not gonna show myself installing the lights um, because this is not a tutorial I'm not telling y'all how to do electrical I barely know how to do it myself I probably don't know how to do it myself. I'm... If my house burns down, that's my fault. If your house burns down, I don't want that to be my fault. Um, so we won't be showing you how I put the light up, but I will come back once the light is up so I can finish painting the bathroom. All right, light fixture is up. We have light again. Whew. That took me way too long to do. I mean, it probably took me at least an hour. I honestly don't know when I started putting it up, but I ran into some to some snafus. It was it's it's fine. It's up. Nothing blew up. All right, back to painting. Okay, progress check. Everything is painted. I also put the new rod, curtain rod up. Um, I also painted the tile baseboard, um, which you will see why later. It was a last minute decision. That's what we're doing. Okay, so now the fun part. I wanted to go ahead and replace the faucet. This is my first time doing it myself. Um, and well, you'll see. All right, I'm about to tackle trying to switch out my faucet. I got this new one um, from Amazon. I've never switched out a faucet before, so we're gonna see how this goes. I think I have all of my tools needed. Okay. Just as I need some wrenchy things. The hose, racks, sealant tape. Pretty sure this is sealant tape. Step one, remove from the washer. Oh my lord. Let's... All right, this one. 
one. I really want to wash my hands right now, but no water. Woo. You guys, I did it. I did it. Your instructions have gotten wet. That is okay. Before installation, make sure you have all the parts. I did that. Turn off the hot and cold water supply. Yeah, I didn't do that. take this and run it like around the perimeter of the sink where I had pulled that baseboard up so that no water like drips back there so let's see if we can make it do what it does morning it is january 1st happy new year um it's not quite 9 a.m yet i've actually been up since like five um which is probably why i look extra tired um but we are going to finish the bathroom today i hung up the shower curtain which you can kind of see here um to the side of me and then also last night i put new floors down which i don't know if I'm gonna have footage for that or not. I tried to take some footage, it wasn't that great, um, but I'll show you what we did. So I actually wasn't even gonna use these floors originally. I had ordered them and then as they were being delivered, I decided I didn't actually want them anymore. I was just gonna try to work with the tile, get my money back. Um, but when I went to try to return them, I was gonna have to pay the return shipping myself, which was like $55. I said, you know what? Never mind, we're using, the, uh, <laughs> we're using the floors. So I do, do still need to do like some caulking around the edges, um, but that'll happen another day. So today is all about the fishing, finishing touches and then we are done. 
Okay, I need to hang up a toilet paper holder. The way my bathroom is set up, I don't actually have a good place to put the toilet paper. Um, so I'm gonna have to put it like kind of behind, which is not ideal, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Let me see. If I'm sitting on the toilet <laughs> and I'm just doing my business, like I would have to reach behind me. Which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? So installed the towel racks and hooks um, around the bathroom as well. And then I started with the finishing touches. Um, but they didn't quite get finished. All right, so now we're back to present day. Today is actually February 10th. So we're like six weeks past the last clips. A lot, not a lot. Some stuff has changed um, with the decor. I went and I got some fake plants to add up in here. I didn't, I prefer real plants, but I didn't want to put any real plants in here. Um, one, cause I'm not up here often. And two, there's no windows. There's no like natural light that comes in here. So I added some fake plants. I shopped the rest of my house, um, stealing things from, you know, my bedroom, the downstairs bathroom to um, decorate up here, just to make it welcoming for guests. This is the guest bathroom. Um, although I probably won't see any until, I don't know, 2022, maybe, hopefully. I also decided to switch out the shower hardware. I originally wasn't gonna do that, I was just gonna leave it as it was. Um, Cause as you, as you know, I didn't do really much with the shower. I, can, I didn't change the tile or anything. Um, I'm basically just trying to hide the old tile with the shower curtain. But I was like, you know what, let's just do what we can. So I took down the old shower head, put in a new one. Um, and then I also replaced that ugly over the shower rack thing with a new nicer black set. In case anyone is wondering, everything, pretty much everything in here came from Amazon. So I'll have everything linked, you know, just in case. Oh, and I also went around and caulked around the toilet, along the tub and the walls, um, you know, to make the flooring look more intentional and a little less like peel and stick. And that's basically it. Before and after is coming up shortly but before that i just want to ask for any feedback if you have it like comment subscribe um i really have no idea when the next video is going to come because this one was hard i hope you enjoyed the transformation and here's the before and afters